All right, ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome back to, to another episode of Sevtech. I think I can probably avoid this. I have done some proper mining in between episodes. Oh, yes, I have. I got some good news. I've also done some more of the crafting. Last time we set this thing up, it was, it was a soup. Listen, listen, look at my eyes. It was a very stressful episode for Eureka. Okay. And uh, it, it was hard. Things blew up multiple times. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it was a lot of uh, um, crafting and weirdness and stuff. So in between episode, I did some uh, uh, more crafting. I did some better math because I miscalculated how many of the unassembled PCBs we need. We need, hopefully, we need seven of these, seven of these, uh, or 21 of these, 21 of these. And then we needed the Surtus Quartz. And we need seven of these things, uh, printed circuit boards, to set it up so that we can make circuit boards easier in the future, basically. And why do we need circuit boards again? Well, I remind you, okay? Circuit boards are required when you make machine cases. And machine cases are used in a lot of really good machines. So we're very close to getting really good machines. And I wonder, petrified generator, this is what I want to get. That's gold gear. Oh, we need Galgor Dorian Metal. Of course, there's something that I can't get. Ah, I see. What? How do I get this? Do I have to get... Oh, large lump? Okay. Lump of Galgordian. We need to set up an arc furnace. Oh my goodness. A block of platinum? <laughs> okay, so a block of platinum. Two stabilized uh, metal. Eye of Galgador? Okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty rough. We need two for... So this dude may not be doable. This guy is extremely good at generating power. It generates 800 RF per tick for 35 seconds for one block of coal. It's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but regardless, industrial foregoing. There are other methods to generate power uh, that aren't as OP. That's, I was hoping that this was like an unchanged recipe, <laughs> that they didn't think about that. But there are so many machines in here that we are going to be uh, using for doing a lot of automation and stuff. And it seems to me that the only machine that has that stupid Galgordian uh, reinforced metal is... Okay, so that's just stabilized metal into uh, Tinkers. Okay. I mean, stabilized metal is not cheap by any means. Don't Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's achievable or it's 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 something that we can reach basically uh, Okay, so like I said, I've been out or did I say I've been out mining in between episodes crazy amount of mining um, I needed to find Surtis Quartz and Look at this. I found it and every vein gives you a crap ton of nether quartz, which I had no idea It gives you some black quartz and some Surtis Quartz uh, they I, I, okay, so here's my story. Here's my story. Check this out. Let's go outside so we get the proper map. Why is my mouse acting up? I just literally bought a new mouse a couple of weeks ago. Can I please get the real uh, day? Here we go. Yeah, um, I was exploring for about an hour. I first went this direction. Didn't see a single sample. Started getting worried, right? <laughs> then I went up here because I read that deserts are or he, uh, warm biomes where you have the best luck. And look at this. I first found this vein right down there and I found the sample and then I found another sample here so I dug out two veins and from two veins I got all of these uh service course here so not bad not bad my mouse is acting up and I'm scared um and hopefully this will last us for a little while we'll see though uh so let's store it and I'm gonna need to upgrade the uh the thing we're gonna do some uh, other stuff before we get back into that first though I want to do some tool upgrades or look into some tool upgrades here to start this episode off once I've done this oh my goodness <laughs> mouse please I literally just bought this mouse maybe there's something wrong with my computer it like doesn't work properly at all <laughs> okay there's the quartz anyway we'll put the black quartz in here as well uh, the black quartz is also a nice, nice thing to have a lot of because I didn't in the past. Oh, and I found a little bit of this amethyst as well when I was in the nether. The main reason I went to the nether though was to get the cobalt, the 21 pieces. So now we have 26 because every, um, every machine case requires two 
cobalt ingots or two cobalt ores basically and three certain quartz i don't know how long it will last but we are getting close to this my goal today is to be able to make uh one or a few of these machine cases but to do that we need to be able to make the printed circuit board so that's what we'll do here in a second but first i want to look at some tool upgrades now that we've got so much quartz mainly my sword and i had an idea i should get some cobblestone i should have done this in between uh, and get some mossy stone. I may have to try and like replug my mouse here because I can barely move it. All right, I replugged my mouse in. Hopefully that fixes it. I have no idea. I'm a little bit scared because I, I like bought this mouse like two weeks ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yes, uh, what I want to do is I want to put some quartz on our sword, make it a little bit better because we got five modifiers on this dude, which is pretty crazy and i end up fighting a lot of mobs so you want to be able to kill them quick that's always a good thing now that we have so much quartz uh that's oil in there okay interesting i've stored that over here i would also like like i said to get some mossy stone um and i have a little bit there it's such a long process to get the mossy stone though because i want to make this ball of moss um it takes a while doesn't it for this thing to process oh no wait Always on. There we go. That will help. That will help. Now, now, now we're talking. Yeah. I only need nine of it. Uh, well, actually, I wouldn't mind. Do I have a... I don't have a... I don't have a modifier on my pickaxe. Because I have to repair this guy with uh, cobalt. And that kind of sucks. And this mending stuff should probably put mending on it, I think. Uh, so, for that, we're going to need some stuff. We're going to need some books. Do I have books? Yes, I knew that I had books somewhere. Okay, you know what? You go in there, because you are useful. <laughs> and uh, let's get some of the garbage wood. Boom, boom. I don't like the orange wood planks. I'm sorry. It's not as bad as anything else, like, like I really don't like, but you know. And I think we only need one of these, so let's plonk him down. Let's put him permanently for now. Permanently for now. Let's put him there. Uh, okay, and then we craft up... I may want to do two of these. I don't know. But we craft up a ball of moss. And we right-click. Boom. That gives us the many moss. Sweet. Sweet. And then we put that and that together. Nice. And now... This sword should repair itself using uh, mending. Just like vanilla mending. I think that's how that works. But uh, I'll figure out figure that out which is going to help when i fight so i don't have to repair it then i want to put quartz on it to upgrade the damage so that's 13 from uh 12.22 wow that's very expensive and now it's 15 and i guess we'll just yeah 16 17 uh 18 and that's all i can afford right now cool yeah, so now, hopefully I can one-shot a creeper with this. Because I was almost one-shotting the creepers before. And that's like the most important mob to uh, to fight, I feel. Alright, so next, with our upgraded sword, let's make the freaking circuit boards. Let's make them. <laughs> this is this is something that I've waited for. Boop, boop, boop. Get that stuff. And we're going to try and set up the assembly line. Is basically the idea. I don't know if this is shaped, but... Nope, it's not. Printed circuit board. Seven. Nice. So, uh, we're going to need to make a bunch of different machines here. I think I prepared most of the materials, like raw materials. For example, we're going to need a lot of blue plastic. We're going to need some orange plastic. I looked into the recipes. So, I did go ahead and create that in this guy. You can actually click this thing and click a plastic and it will make a stack. So, that's nice. Oh, and I also replaced our fluid hopper here, which is now empty. For one of these fluid extraction pipes. They are so nice and so quick. So happy I found them. I, totally something that I could easily miss, you know. Uh, okay, so this is one of the things we're going to need. The assembly controller. So let's start with that. This is going to be the uh, brain. The brain of the operation. And I think this is also the... Ooh, hello, you follow me. <laughs> that's weird, that's freaky. Uh, I think that's also the guy who requires the... Uh, the power or the, the um, what's it called? Air. Then we're going to need IO units. I think we need two of these, right? Because we need one for input and one for output. Um, hit with a wrench to switch between modes. Yes. And for this, we need these guys. That's why I need the blue plastic. And we need this thing. So two of these. Oops. Uh, two of these, please. And 
Uh, six. Oh my goodness, what am I? Oh, oh, it's one black. Holy crap, that's expensive. How do I make these again? Just glass. <laughs> okay, I need 12 of these blue ones, right? Uh, one, two, nice. I don't want to overmake here because I have exactly what I need. We need uh, one of these things and oh, I made enough blue ones. Yay! We need the laser, which requires us to find a red flower or a poppy. Um, actually, how do I get the rose red? Do I need to find a rose bush for that? Because I think pop is just... Hmm, that's interesting. Companion cube. Okay. Or squeezer. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't have the stuff we need for this. What is companion cube? It's nothing that I can click. Okay. So, we need this guy. Oh, that's easy. Does it require power? Probably. Squeezes, flattens, and crushes by jumping on it. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Boom. Done and squeezer boom integrated dynamics. I've seen this mod. I understand what it's about It's uh, probably too uh, Too hard for me to do though. <laughs> I'm not smart, you know, okay So we need to get a poppy then which uh, we should be able to find Ooh, and you know what? I'm gonna run out with there's a poppy there. I'm gonna run out with my new sword Yeah, see if I can find a find a creeper as well I mean, <laughs> they're gonna be scared. They're gonna run from us now. I see a creeper. I need to. I need to try this. And a skeleton? No, almost one shot. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. Where is my rose red though? Oh, it went into an adjacent inventory. Adjacent, which was that. Cool. And then it said I needed to redstone pulse it to reset. So. Guess we'll make that chill there. All right, so now, <laughs> now we got the laser going. Laser, boom, nice. And I think that's all we need. We need to make the wrench as well though. But let's try and put this together. So I'm gonna move you a little bit. We'll probably move, we'll probably wanna extend this room today, actually. Uh, but I just, I'm so eager to get this to work. So how do I know what goes where? I know there gotta be a chest. Ah, there's there's so little information about this assembly controller. I gotta put the program in. So maybe, uh oh, oh, I have it in my inventory. Put the program in. We want to do the laser. Does it show me anything? Machine status: assembly, drill, platform, laser, offline, unit export offline. Yeah, okay. Problems: not no sufficient pressure. Not all machines required for the program are available. Connect up the other. Connect up the other required machines. Okay. So I guess we'll just try this. So. IO unit for input. Does that now register? Uh, IO unit export online. Okay. Maybe we should look into the wrench though real quick. The one we need for this. And pneumatic wrench. Nice. And I should have some coal over here. So we can uh, charge this up just a little bit. Because I don't think... Maybe I can... No. Oh. Oh, I can move that. Why can't I... Uh-oh. Maybe I need to put down the other one as well. Before I can... Because you gotta... You should be able to make one blue. That's so weird. How do I put you in the charging station? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Did that have... It had bars. It had it had pressure in it, that thing. So I'm hoping this is how I do it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so now that's the input, right? Yes. Input and output is in place. Okay, then the platform... And the laser. Nice. So now, yes, that's all we need. All we need. Uh, not all machines required for this program are available. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Controller, platform, export, import, laser. All right, dude. So I don't know why this is not working. It says in here, connect up all the machines, uh, in here that it's missing a... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I played around with this. This is like an hour later. Um, rebuilt it a couple of times. It says that it needs a drill, which is false. I, I looked up this uh, with the same version of like... I don't know if it's the same version of Sevtic, but I, I looked it up and it does not need a drill. It needs the laser. There is a way to do both in one program. So I ordered the drill program as well, just to make sure, just 
just to just to be a hundred percent no yeah this needs a laser and a drill even though it's just a freaking laser thing uh, it's so frustrating because to make the drill right to make the drill i need three more of those i need the drill core which is i mean not terrible to make it's a lot of steel though <laughs> And I don't know if we're gonna use the drill at all. I don't know. Uh, I guess we will need to use the drill as well. Okay, let's try this. This should not be a negative thing to do anyway. Let's combine these into a drill and laser. So now it should be able to do both. But it should definitely work. So I'm not sure why it doesn't. One thing that I would like to do though, uh, just because I don't want things to blow up, is to create some security upgrades. So maybe we do that here whilst I think about how to fix this. Uh, I think as long as you have one of these installed in any machine, it will uh, automatically release pressure and uh, not blow things up. And we had a lot of problems with things getting blown up and being babysit and stuff like that. Normally, this recipe is usually kind of a gated recipe, but here it seems quite simple. Four security upgrades. Nice. So if we put this in here, uh, I don't know if I don't know in which one it's supposed to be, but I'll put them in both, I guess. This should now no longer need any redstone, uh, any uh, any any redstone babysitting. It should, in theory, release the pressure when it needs to release the pressure. That's at least what I'm hoping. <laughs> and did that do any changes here? No, no. That's really really sad. Why would it want the drill? I mean, now now it makes more sense because I have this program. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that I'll have to do that I'll have to make the drill, which will mean I did make one extra PCB. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oops, I forgot to bring my ingots. Oh, I had it all lined up so perfectly. Ah, that looked good there. Okay, uh steel drill head, boom. And laser uh, drill core thing, boom, and laser assembly drill. Nice. All right. So, I mean, I guess there are things that we want to use the drill for later. But it's just like, eh, it wasn't really what I was going to make, you know. Let's put that guy there. And now it's working. Which is fair when we have the drill and laser program. So that's that's fair. Uh, look, at the, look at it, though. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna moan about that no more. That's just weird. <laughs> it's constant almost. Okay, shut up, Pascal. Where are the rest of my speed upgrades? Cause I had a bunch. I had like five of them. That scared me there. Uh, where did I put them in here? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put the speed upgrades in here, and that should make it just a little bit quicker. Look at that. Oh, and that's a finished card. So no more light box. No more stupid etched liquid and stuff. This is all good. This is all um, chilling, and that security upgrade totally worth it. I wonder how far I can stretch this. If I can put four speed upgrades in here, no, then it doesn't keep up. So I need three and two for it to keep up. I think I could probably put one more here if I have two here, so it's like the double. But anyway, look at that. It makes it. It puts it in the uh, in the chest, and uh, that's a. Uh, Great way of making unassembled ones. Then we still need the transistors and that, but that's why I crafted up a bunch of them so that we can easily assemble these. Oh, this is this is totally worth it. Totally worth all that effort <laughs> to get here. And there are more things we can make with this. If we take a look at this, um, oh, uh, I need to look at the laser program. Drill program can make uh, pressure veil out of compressed iron, so it's a cheaper way. Oh, we can make the presses from. Planet Logistics, so we need that for sure. So we we will we will have need for it later, right? And the laser can make a bunch of other stuff. Well, three recipes. <laughs> have a foursome tile. But I'm sure we're gonna need all of it. So that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. I'm happy with that. Plus it looks really cool. So my plan is we want to design this room. We want to change up how it looks. But I wanted to rush to this point so that we can design it with... The knowledge of uh, how it's gonna look and stuff right uh, now we got four of these extras very good I'm gonna get out of there because it's very loud and these are it's one per one per uh, these things that we're making one per uh, one per these things oh and we can shift click this in nice 
So now we need to make cobalt. We need to make all of the stuff here. The stabilized metal we have. The black iron frame is a lot of black iron. Uh, well, a little bit of black iron and, and some black iron slates. Let's make a few frames. Black iron frame. Let's make six of them, sure. Uh, and what are we looking at now? I'm trying to get the hard pieces out. Cobalt plates, huh? Yes, that's why I collected the cobalt. So what about... It's two per each. Let's do... 12. Look at to make six of these cores. It's hopefully what we're going to be able to afford here without too much of an issue. And I'm going to smelt this up, up in here and I'm going to make it into plates directly instead of pressing it. Because I can. We also need a crap ton of compressed iron uh, plates. So I will start cooking that up and we'll put some more. We'll put a secured upgrade in there. We'll put one in here. And I'm just going to put that in there. And start this thing. And everything should be like... So that I don't have to babysit it. Now hopefully... Cobalt plates are done. Dudes, we are getting so close. Can I... Uh, can I... No, I can't put in what I have. Okay. We're gonna need a crap ton of plastic. And a crap ton of the compressed uh, iron plates. Which I'm currently cooking up more compressed iron. Hopefully this is behaving now. Oh, you know what? Uh, that allows it to get out. So you are slowly working your way there, I assume. <laughs> uh, this has probably made some more stuff. We can shut that off not to drain power. Uh, or coal, I mean. Very cool. Very cool. And I got the plastic. I need these guys. Uh, I don't know how many I need. I just want to have enough to make like a full... <laughs> full craft of six machine frames is what i'm aiming for let's get some um of our stabilized we need two of these per each so 12 to make what we need nice i'm getting excited i think we have everything we need let's see let's see yes yes look at that ladies and gentlemen <laughs> there we go machine cases six of them in fact that was a big craft. Boom. And that completes the next thing here somewhere. This one. Which doesn't unlock anything. That's fine. That's okay. So did we need this for the inscribers? Inscriber? No. We only need the certus quartz. Which we can now make. Because I found the uh, I found the stuff. Oh, this is good news. Very good news. 25 pages. 50 machines. Is what we can make. It is also required to make the Atomic Reconstructor. Which is not available to us until next stage. So it's like the core of <laughs> this massive recipe. Which doesn't look terrible. To be honest. Alright, so I'm super proud to have got the machine casings, my dudes. It's just... It feels like a freaking accomplishment. And um, in between these cutscenes, it's actually been a f full, like, 25-hour cycle. Uh, <laughs> I I was so tired yesterday when I recorded the last piece of what you just watched. Um, because of the fact that I couldn't get this to work, I just edited that down. I had two hours between two cutscenes where I tried to fix this. Two hours that I couldn't get it to work. So, sorry if I sounded a little bit uh, tired and down. Uh... It was also like super warm in Sweden yesterday, this today as well, but like I was sweating, so had to take a break. Um, but now I'm back, and what I want to do now, um, we got the machine cases, and since then I've also looked into a very exciting thing that I'm gonna that we're gonna do next episode. We're gonna set up a proper RF generation for finally, finally, we're gonna do that. We're gonna look into advanced generators. We're gonna do some really cool things with these machine casing uh, cases. So look forward to that. But today, uh, what I want to do is I want to get the um, what's it called? Inscriber? Yeah. This thing here. Ooh, I got very burpy at the moment. Uh, all of a sudden. Hold on. All better. All better. Okay, so, um, yeah, I want to try and get this. This is a quest, and we need it for the uh, better storage system, uh, which is definitely something I want to get to ASA freaking P. Like, if we can get to this before we do the main quest, I'd rather do that before we get to the end and stuff. I'm not a big dragon slayer. I'm not a nerd, as you guys know. So what we're going to do is um, get some water, first of all. So let's get my bucket. 
And this is a process you've probably seen a million times. I've probably done it a million times as well. And we'll just plonk this down for right uh, here for right now. We're gonna create the Fluix crystals and let's do 16 of them. Don't know how much we're gonna need to be to get started. So eight of eight quartz, eight charged, eight redstone should do it. Do the thing. Yes. Okay. There we go. Boom. Nice. And that turns into sixteen fluix crystals. Be out of all. And then we're gonna need the uh, two pistons. So I should have. Are you kidding me? How are you kidding me? This item is deprecated. Has this changed? I I have the sliding dudes. Oh, okay, well, I'll try and manually enter the crafting recipe then. Let's try this. Boop, boop, boop. These, they are just sawed down things. I don't think I've ever shown on camera making a piston. Huh. Oh, this item is, the, it is replaced with a new version to allow more texture variants. It has a recipe to convert directly to the new version. Okay, okay, so what do you know? <laughs> okay, so they had actually changed. We, um... I played this pack down for so long that the ID had changed. That's okay. There we go. We got the pistons. We got to turn them into sticky. Nice. And some iron. Next time we're going to use, for what I have planned, I we may have to, we may need more iron than that for what I'm going to set up. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. It may be enough as well. Okay, so inscriber. Boom. Very nice. Now, all of these things are going to need RF. Uh, that's why I kind of want to do that next. But... Um, now we unlock these two quests, or we didn't unlock them. But craft and connect the inscriber to begin, begin begin creating processors and other machines. So you know what we should probably do is um, look at the materials needed. Oh crap, this is gated behind the end. Press. Yeah, I think it is actually. I think we may need to kill the dragon soon. Oh, that has me worried. <laughs> I can, I'm like happy being able to kill a, kill a creeper at the moment. Um, so that's purple blocks. Okay. Oh, I freaking hate uh, killing the dragon. Hold on. Purple block. We need a pearl block and we need block of biotile tight, which is from quark and the biotite. Okay. Okay. So this stuff we need to basically we need to go to the end. We need to go to the end. We need to fight uh, the dragon. We need to go to an end city to get the uh, uh, to get the shulker pearls to make that pearl block. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna plonk this guy down here for now. Anyway. Uh, what is included? Because I think both of these requires the processors, right? Refined storage uh, grid is what it's called. I'd rather do this, but I think they have like combined them. So luminescence we can make. Um, quite expensive, but we can make it. I made it in the past. This thing is just quartz iron. No, crap. We're gonna need... <laughs> oh, Sevtech, you stupid. I thought that uh, I thought we could avoid the arc for an eye, <laughs> but we're gonna need to set up an arc for an eye, which requires a crap ton of steel. Um, I don't know if I can see the recipe for it easily here. No, I can't. It's uh, it's in the immersive engineering. I'm not worried about that, but it's it's uh, it's a lot of steel and. I don't have a lot of steel. Construction. Um, or heavy machinery, probably. Arc for an eye. Yeah, look at this stuff. Cauldron, steel sheet metal, steel sheet metal, block of steel. Six blocks of steel, so we need at least a stack there. Uh, scaffolding, redstone engineering, light engineering. 27 reinforced blast bricks. So, does that mean I can make steel in this? Masses are used to quickly smelt metals and consist of a steel vat... Topped by electrodes, which heat up the metal. Oh, we need that granite stuff, I think, as well. Yeah, granite electrodes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that will be... It will be a while. I, I want to have everything else ready first before we do that. But that's how we get... Uh, oh, grid. That's how we get the uh, enriched quartz iron. That kind of sucks. What is... <coughs> What is uh, required to make the applied logistics ones? Because maybe this is easier. Another advanced crafting table, huh? Which is a lot of iron, but it's at least not enriched quartz iron. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the more expensive long term to make. Oh, look at that. Okay. 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 So we're going to need an arc for an eye. 
And for that, I'm gonna need a crap ton of steel. Let me grab before I, I got a bit of iron. Uh, I gotta keep this this dude running then. I got 67, uh, but I'm out of cold coke. Okay. I mined up a little bit of coke. Uh, no, not coke. <laughs> coal. Mined up a little bit of coal in between episodes as well. So I do have a little bit of that stuff that I can shove in there. But uh, yeah, long story short, lots and lots of resources uh, will be needed. I don't really want to waste more iron because I know that the next process is next episode is going to require so much iron. I've actually already made a list. I'm prepared. There's going to be a crafting montage when we start the next episode. I'm excited about that already. This is how I feel about Sevtech usually. Very, very excited. Very excited. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cook up some steel in between, I suppose. That's uh, gonna do it for today, though, dudes. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, thank you so much for the continued love and supporting Septic. I'm not just saying that, dudes. Like, you guys are amazing. So, <laughs> thank you so much for that. Here's him. Come on, you stupid chest. Okay, there we go. Uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, have a fan freaking fantastic evening. I will uh, see you, dudes, in the next episode.